are ready to roll with the final week of the regular season in the ACC. Stinson just inside his five. Gets to the 20. An alleyway for Stinson out past the 40. Outstanding return to start the game for Jalen Stinson. He's come from humble beginnings and can't set a Duke record this afternoon. He got three on that first carry. He'll swing it out to the left. Four yards on that play. Jack Wallaball right there in the middle as they're over the ball in a hurry with the tempo. Zach McLeod, big 53 on defense, the former linebacker. And McLeod and company unable to stuff this third down and short. Coach Cutcliffe and the Blue Devils trying to move the ball in their first possession against the Canes. Durant around the edge. First down yardage lowers the shoulder and down to the 35-yard line for Durant. There is penalty marker. Remember, his first start came the beginning of this year. Catches this one out past the numbers and gets near the 45-yard line. That 50-yarder, the career long for him, was in a win against Northwestern this season. This from 40 yards away for Charlie Ham, and the Blue Devils are on the board. Charlie Ham with his 14th field goal of the season. We talked about Durant looking down the barrel of some some records. Charleston Rambo as well. Here you go. Van Dyke hits his man in stride. This is Rambo down to the 25 for Miami. Will get catch number 72 on the season. Well, he... Freshman from Miami, Florida, 13 of 17 on the season. And he has tied this game at three. So a couple of field goals on the opening possessions. It's Batesy Paints <laughs> to my right. I'm, I'm handing out NILs today. Ah, there you go. Stinson. Another big return from Stinson. Just the kicker to beat. There goes Jalen Stinson to the 10 and to the end zone. Jalen Stinson has returned it for a touchdown, 94 yards. Look at everybody, hat on a hat, doing a great job for him. Has to make one guy miss, and he's from Alabama. He looks like Forrest Gump from that day on. If I was going somewhere, I was running. <laughs> I mean, just nobody touching him. There's his sidelines, fired up. With that ball at the 44. Van Dyke out on the edge. Harley has the grab, has a first down. Franklin is the back. Van Dyke wants to throw it over the middle to the end zone. And an open receiver. It's Xavier Restrepo for the Canes at 21 yards for the score. Middle of the field, easiest throw for a quarterback. And the shocking thing is, is Restrepo never goes down to the grass. I thought that. Van Dyke looking to the sideline for instruction, ready to go. Snap was high. He throws it to the end zone. Back corner and caught for a touchdown. Charleston Rambo. A 12-yard TD pass from Tyler Van Dyke. Decent coverage up there in Rambo on Josh Blackwell, the best cover guy for Duke. He's in there tight. Amy Helmet on that tackling dummy, so we'll see who gets the last laugh today. Turning and burning as George makes a cut near the 35-yard line to Kobe George past the 50. Actually, they'll mark him at the 49 of Miami. Got to come under control. That sideline's your friend. You, you've got a nifty receiver out here. There's one missed tackle. Now 17, Johnson coming in there. Cut off that angle, and you can't let him back inside. What a catch by George down the sideline. The defender was all over him. Blackwell was in good coverage. Comes up with the grab for 36 yards. Uh, you mean there's more? Look at this. Wow. Off the helmet, then off the knee. How about the concentration? The call is the call, and it's first down and goal for the Canes. This is Knighton up the middle, and Knighton is into the end zone. And Miami now three for three in the red zone with a couple of TDs and a field goal as Knighton takes it in. Jalen Knighton in his eighth rushing TD of the season. Franklin's done some damage in the middle. The yards a little bit harder to come by for Knighton here today. The reaction from the head man. 
Third and long. Durant put the shoulder down at the 45 yard line. That is awfully close to a first down, and he is a first down. Durant on the play for 14 yards. Uh, nice job here, getting some help by his receiver, Jake Bobo. 29 yards away for Andy Borgellis. He's already made one from 35 yards away in the first quarter. First points of the game for the Kings to tie the game at three at that point. That one is good. Three timeouts to work with for Miami. And Tyler Van Dyke. Knighton up the middle. He's got an alley. Breaks a tackle. And inside the 30 yard line. This will be a 25 yarder. Borag Ellis is three for three as he knocks it through. And that is the last play of the half. I want to invite anybody that wants to keep up with me to try and keep up with me. Come on. Miami with the ball to start the second half. That is Harley on the flip forward. Harley down the sideline near midfield. This is a Miami team. They haven't fumbled the ball, haven't turned it over all year. But when they do, they do in bunches. And, oh, oh, you oh, just said it, James. Jinx a young man TV <laughs> deep, but, you know, you Georgia Tech it. game. This will be his longest attempt of the game. Make it four for four. Andy Borregales. Prepo in motion. Van Dyke, quick release. On the edge, Rambo. Reaching inside that 25-yard line. They'll give him the 23. Jalen Alexander on the stop. Bringing you the pictures and sound. Van Dyke wants the end zone. Throws it. And it is caught for a touchdown. Charleston Rambo looking back into the sun. And he'll do the TD dance. 14 yards on the play. I can't wait to watch this replay. I don't know how in the world it happened. Jeremiah Lewis can't either. But again, you're a perfect position. It not just kind of let me go up and try to knock it down. You know, who wants it more? That's the first time we saw Tyler Van Dyke with extended time and getting the start. Yeah, 58 to lot. But oh, here we go. Well, lucky. Gunny, Gunner Holmberg, lucky. Hang on to that football right there. Right away is DJ Ivy, the junior cornerback. On the first play of the game, hit hard, facing a third down and long. They will move him again. Uh oh, and but but Tyler Van Dyke, time and time again, you know, and here just as freshman, you're thrown into the mix. And they're threatening once again. Up the middle, bouncing off Blue Devils and into the end zone. It's Thad Franklin on the carry from nine yards away for Miami. Well, they're just owning them up front. Look at all those guys, the big guys in the white jerseys, just running those guys. Come on, give him one more chance for 50 attempts in the game, right? <laughs> Risk gets spun down by Ben Fry. James, David Cutcliffe has done incredible things with this program. Coastal champs back in 2013 in the National Coach of the Year. But at Tennessee, at, at, at Ole Miss, he's just an incredible man. And anybody that's ever played for him will tell you that, along with being a great coach. That pass completed the 35-yard line. Harding Jr. took a pop. Marcus Clark, James. This is the third straight trip for Miami to play away against Duke three straight years. This pass near the five. Mm -hmm. That will be a Duke reception. 14 yards on the play. Did the same thing, but with Virginia going up there. And nice job there to on the fly to get that one off on the back end. Bowen Sims made the catch. Loss of one. Duke's last win in the series, James, came in that first of three successive games here in Durham. The one against Georgia Tech where they held a late lead and Sims and Sanders combined for the winning TD. Looking for the end zone, and that one looked like a pretty easy interception for Marcus Clark. Les, the never, chain is coming out. Never. It's all. <laughs> uh, that knob's turned up to 11 when you, when you pull out the turnover chain. David Cutcliffe's Duke Blue Devils out of the end zone on the defensive side of the ball anyway. That seven points there on the board was from a kick return for a touchdown.
Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.